Physically, we actually have to go through every layer all the way down to the wire and all the way across to the other machine. So messages actually travel down the OSI stack on the source machine, across the physical media, and then all the way back up the OSI stack on the target machine. Here's what the messages actually look like. Now this, looking internally to what is added to the message, is beyond the scope of our discussion, but it is important to get a basic idea. We typically refer to the layers not only by their names, but also by layer numbers, starting at the top, application layer is 7, physical layer is layer number 1. So each layer adds additional information to a message, typically to the beginning and the end of the message, and then passes it down to the next layer. So let's assume that we have an application that passes a message to the application layer. The purpose of this transfer is my application program, let's say it again, it's a web browser, wants to send a message to a web server on another machine. So he gives the message to the application layer. Well, the application layer says, all right, I need to know where this information is going to go. So I'm going to put addressing information, perhaps in the header, and I'm going to put my own little trailer information to know where the message stops at the end. So he tacks on a layer 7 header and layer 7 trailer and passes it down to the presentation layer. So now the presentation layer sees one message. He doesn't know that it's a message plus other stuff. He just sees a message.